According to the National Hurricane Center, Hurricane Land will bring dangerous strong surge and winds of up to 114 mile hours as it approaches Florida Gulf Coast. Land strangely to a powerful Category 3 storm with maximum sustained winds of 125 mile hours as it made landfall in West Cuba, forecasters said. Authorities in the Cuban province of Pinar del Rio have set up dozens of shelters and taken measures to protect groups in Cuban main tobacco growing region. The U.S. National Hurricane Center said the storm surge of 13 feet was possible on the west coast of the island. Land was about 5 miles west of Pinar del Rio, Cuba, moving northwest at 20 mile hours. Cuba is expected to experience hurricane force winds as well as slightly terrain storm surge and heavy rainfall. Over the next few hours, the storm is expected to change course to the north and northeast and the timing of those movements will likely determine where it reached the U.S. mainland. A hurricane warning is in effect on western Cuba. Many hazardous conditions are imminent. In the U.S., about 100 miles of Florida's coast is under a hurricane watch from Englewood north to the Anclaw River, a stretch that includes Tampa, Clearwater and Stein Prattlebury. A hurricane warning is usually issued 48 hours is advantage of storm conditions.